Yeah, right? You want to put good stuff in. It's a, it sounds like millennial food. I'll take, I got the ribeye going normally. Some avocado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's avocado on toast. It's not avocado toast. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Well, it's also to, uh, Girl Guy Cookie Season, so if you want to just write that on. You know what? I'm not a big fan since... The, I, I always buy a box and support, but uh, I s still prefer the old school Mr. Christie ones, so... Well, I'll eat your share, then. Okay, I will. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't screw around with, like, the mint stuff. But I will definitely... My neighbors are both Girl Guides, so you know, I'll buy a box. Yeah, you you got live in a good location oh, that I wish man, it was I, that Yeah, yeah, easier. totally. I, yeah, I got a fix right next door. <laughs> I, got <a> <laughs> I got a guy. Um, what's the most random app on your phone right now? Ooh, random. I've got a baby monitor on my phone. Really? Because I got a kid, so it's like portable. You can between two devices. Checking. That way, that way, you know, me and uh, the, and the wife can go downstairs and have a lobby, a lobby beer and a lobby bar while he's having a snooze upstairs. I didn't know that you could get that on your phone, but I guess it's been a long time. It, since it's I actually had really practical. Like I said, I'm a parent, and if you're like away, you don't want to like you know bring your whole camera system or whatever you use to keep an eye on your kids or you can just use your ears and listen for them too no that's that's you too know. hard that's hard work i have a backroads map book backroads map like the, like the backroads alberta bc macbooks for like all the fsrs and locking roads that's cool and it's all topographic too and satellites so you can kind of like use it whenever you're there. Out in the middle of nowhere. That's a lot more complicated than Why'd I expected. I thought you yeah. would say in uh, Pinterest, making a Christmas wreath. Oh, I love, and you know, sometimes my mom and I just get on the horn and share Pinterest pins. That's what it's for, man, no, to no. bring moms and children I together. That's moms cool. have never yeah, had such a dominant, you know, presence on the internet. <laughs> I, I love know. it. I, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Um, okay, so uh, you obviously are no stranger to traveling. Just gonna say again, kicking off Cape Town tour, coming to Edmonton March twenty second. March twenty second. March twenty second. Tickets 22nd. are going fast. Yeah. Ticket info at freshradio.ca. So, is there anywhere that you have not been and that you would like to go someday? I would love to see Haida Gwaii, the Queen Charlotte Islands, or Haida Gwaii, as we, of course we know it as. Because um, yeah. I grew up in Prince George and I spent time in Rupert and stuff, but all along the coast there even like Ocean Falls and stuff, which is only accessible by float plane or by boat. So, you know, there's so much left in our province that I've yet to discover. So That's I'd, like on to my see, list. I'd like to see that. I call that place the Canadian Hawaii because they have a lot of like the same- The sort of, yeah. Yeah, they got the totem poles and like the, the culture. There's, there's fantastic culture there and it's, uh, we've I've had friends that grew up there and stuff like that. So I hope to see it with my own eyes today. Yeah. yeah. I doubt it's further along down the Ring of Fire is uh, Southeast Asia. I'd love to. I'd love to. I think. I think touring in like, in like the Philippines and and like so cool. all those areas are. In that the sounds future good to sure. me, but they got some weird food. Like, would you eat that stuff? That's food. Like it's the just tarantulas. Food. That's, just like, That's just food. Yeah, here we're just used to like three items. You got yeah. a steak. You got a chicken. You got a pig, and so a vegetarian option. But I think the rest, around the, the rest of the world has a pretty colorful you go palette. You eat some, some uh, caterpillars? Please put that on your so Snapchat. Good. I think the last thing weird we ate was in the Amazon jungle, and it was those Gross. actual larvae, like the big ah! grubs. It's too early for you to this, tell me this. This guy, this guy right here, man, he stepped up, and he like bites off the head and eats a raw one, and I'm just like, oh, I come from a guy that drank cow's blood. But uh, I was like, no thanks. But they were actually quite delicious when Ooh. they were cooked. It was like the bacon of the Amazon. Yes. I yeah. Yeah. To. Try everything, people. You need to get on to Fear Factor. I feel like you would you would win. I, I and then mean, you could finally buy the town of Headley. That could be the one way I'd <laughs> finally make it. With your Fear Factor winning. Totally. Um, okay, so you are um, signing autographs at West Edmonton Mall this today. afternoon. Today. At 3.30 today. What's the weirdest thing someone's ever gotten you to sign? Uh, we've had like some like prosthetic no. limbs we've had we've signed for people. That's cool. That's cool because they can stay in one spot. You just pass it yeah, along yeah, the line. Pass it yeah, which is nice and convenient. Yeah. Um, there was a girl without a belly button one time. Pregnant, pregnant bellies. Yeah, that's always fun. Oh. Some kids in there. Yeah, the mm -hmm. obvious, you know, other body parts. But then you'd have to get it tattooed on because it comes off. Yeah. Speaking of tattoos, you mentioned you were on a talk show last week, and you mentioned um, that. You are, I'm paraphrasing here, but you are familiar with tattoo regrets. And I want to know what is one of your tattoos that you regret the most? I don't know that I'm actually familiar with tattoo regret. I don't know that I actually have any myself. But I do have, well, I did have a, like, like the date of like a relationship tattooed on me that <laughs> expired basically. And I was like, oh, still got that. No, so I had it covered up with this big old panther doesn't exist i guess it technically it's still there but 
Well, you know it's there now. I know it's there. Exactly. But it'll be our secret. That's you okay. know that I know that you know? I heard that you have a tattoo on your butt. Okay. This is a sign. Of, yeah, this is true. And it says Headley. Yeah, that could I have confirmed been, it. That could have been a serious regret, especially considering the fact that we got the tattoo like weeks after forming the band. Yeah, like that could have been just like mm -hmm. you know three weeks later they're like, ah, oh, sorry guys, bye, band's no longer a thing. <laughs> And well, I appreciate like, you oh. answering that because I know that it was a personal question, but well, you know, it's I've, not a personal question. I've had to know. Well, I've had to know. Open yeah. Yeah. It takes about his public. <laughs> I also heard a rumor that you're, and this is something I've been dying to know too, and I don't know, I might be wrong. I heard a rumor that your Bieber and your mom, something, someone had a concussion. Is that, a, is that just a rumor? Mm. Or Bieber gave your mom a concussion, or you gave Bieber's mom a concussion? That's the one. Yeah. 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 Oh, you don't want to talk about it. No, so. I mean, I, I gave his mom. I think I gave his mom a concussion. It was. It was a concussion. Is there a story, or is this, is that it? Kind of. <laughs> it's definitely a story. Okay. Do you want to tell it? I'm. I got all kinds of time for you, Jacob. I mean, it's not. A, it's not a crazy. Well, this was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We were playing in. Where's he from? Stratford. Ontario. Stratford, Ontario. It was Ovation Festival. We, this is a long, long time ago. We were opening up for like Nelly for Tata or something. And after we played, Tom and I stole a golf cart and we were whipping around in the fair. And, you know, some people noticed the golf cart, so some kids started like chasing the golf cart. And we were driving through the beer tents and stuff. And we kind of like made it through a crowd. Some kids were chasing us. And then this one girl grabs onto the back of the golf cart and we're driving top speed. And I'm like, she's not letting go, Tom. I, I was like, I got to shake her. I felt like <laughs> I an X Wing pilot or something. <laughs> And so all of a sudden Tom's like, just hang a hard left, hang a left. So I cranked it left, and the poor girl goes flying the other way and cartwheels across the fairway and lands on her back with her knees in the air. And we were like, uh-oh. So then we did that thing where you go and pick her up. And you know when you like hurt your younger sibling when you're a kid yeah, and start crying? Lie. And you're like, you're okay, hey, you're fine. So we picked her up and kind of tried to cheer her up. And she was sort of like, oh my God, in the vehicle. And she was fine, so we dropped her off somewhere in the festival. And then that was that. And then a couple of years went by, and... We were meeting Justin for the first time at the Air Canada Centre in Toronto and we just got like shaking hands like, hey, good to meet you. And his mom like kind of barges into the circle and she's like, hey, or I didn't know it was his mom in that moment, but she's like, hey, you gave me a concussion. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, Stratford, Ovation Festival, the golf cart, you gave me a concussion. And I was just like. And, it, and before I like realized her relationship, I was just like, I remembered the moment. So I'm like, why didn't you let go? No kidding, hardcore. <laughs> and then she, she technically gave it to herself. Yeah, yeah. And then Justin was kind of like, mom. And it was, like, and I kind of realized, I was like, ooh. And then everyone kind of got pulled away. And that was sort of the end of it. And pretty funny. We talked about it since. And he, he doesn't give a shit. You and Justin are it, good. It was funny. You're fine? Okay, that's It's funny. Good. Um, okay, so I just have one final question for you because I know you guys are busy going to West Ed to sign autographs at 3.30. <laughs> um, so my last question is, uh, so there have been some really terrible things that happened over the weekend um, here in Edmonton, as I'm sure you're aware, and in Vegas last night. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, what would you say to your fans who could maybe use a little hope right now and need to be reminded there's good in the world? Well, guess what, guys? There's also a lot of bad in the world, and it happens a lot of the times, and I think it's something that we should always be sort of conscious of, not just when it's on our doorstep, but when it's happening to kids and families all over the world, you know? And we have to understand that we're all humans and we're all in this boat together, and the most important thing is to remember that we're a community, and I think that that sense of community is always going to be important. And don't forget that when you go through something difficult, it's just an opportunity to learn. Yeah, hate will not make hate go away. And standing together is what we need to do right now. Thank you very much. Um, yes, before I let you go, um, is there anything that it, else you wanted to say to your fans? Do, 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 do. Absolutely, we've got VIP packages for sale that are gonna be uh, at the show uh, uh, at, at Rogers on the 22nd of yes. March. And uh, do check those out because it's an opportunity to get closer to us. We're playing a private acoustic show mm -hmm. before the show. And we really use those moments to be able to get in touch with our fans and get some actual face-to-face -face time. And it's our favorite part of the day, so make sure you check it out. Tickets for the Cageless Tour are on sale now. They're going fast. Our brand new album's out. It's called Cageless. Our brand new single's coming out next Friday. It's called Better Days. Request it. And remember, fans, keep making love because the honeybees are dying at an alarming rate. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. You've been listening to Dave, Dave, Dave and Jake on Fresh Radio 92.5. Remember to check freshradio.ca for tour dates or headleyonline.com for more. You've been listening to Amanda. I'm Dave. I'm Jake. Thank you, you so later. much, guys.